What's going on guys? I'm here at uh, 29 Palms today. I'm reviewing some rifles, but there's one rifle I really like. I'm history buff, and so if you're a history buff who loves firearms, you're gonna like this one. Stay tuned. We got the Winchester Model 74 and 22 short. So you guys are going to have to excuse me, I forgot my tripod, so I'm going to just do this camera freehand. Um, so this rifle was made in 1938, there were about 400,000 of these made uh, in, the United, in the United States. Uh, about approximately 45% of them were in this caliber 22 short. Now this rifle only shoots 22s, you cannot accept 22 longs or 22 long rifles. So. The gun can hold 20 rounds, and it's uh, kind of interesting. I kind of like these little quirky firearms. So it's a tube magazine, magazine. Eh, sorry, tube fed. So you got this tube right here, the spring in it. Put that off to the side right now. And so once you take that out, there's this little hole right here. The port. Let me get the 22 round. What you do? You get the little 22. Drop it in. You shake it down in so it goes all the way. Once you load 20 of those up, put the two back in, and then you're ready to fire. So I haven't shot this gun yet, so we're going to do the first shots for you guys. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we got it all loaded up, 20 rounds. Has an interesting safety, I just noticed. Right there, that's safe. And fire and when it's on safe you can't pull the bolt back we're gonna put it on fire we're gonna take our first shots here we go yep load up and I'm not wearing hearing protection because I don't think it's gonna be that loud it's a 22 short woohoo that is awesome all right here we go Uh oh, jam. And we're out. That was pretty dang sweet, guys. As you can imagine, a 22 LR has no recoil. This thing absolutely has no recoil. This is awesome. I mean, you are traveling at a slower velocity, a second, especially since uh, these are subsonics. It's about a half second until it reaches the plate about 30 yards away. But. This thing is awesome. Let's keep shooting it. And so I think just the worst thing about this gun is just how long it takes to load. You should put one, one at a time. I know they make these uh, little speed loaders. You fit like 15 at a time in. I forgot what the name is. But uh, yeah. It's just the slow process of putting them in. Alright guys, got another 20 loaded up. I have placed uh, clay pigeons 10 yards, 75 yards, and we're going to see if we can try to hit them. Here we go. Got him. Got him. Whew, this thing's accurate. Alright, let's keep going. I'm going to try to hit the 50 yard one. Just a little right over. Got it. Alright, let's try to go for the 75 yard one. Got 
back at it. I will say this thing's very accurate. I like it. Let's just keep shooting our uh, our aluminum panel, shall we? Oops. Got a jam. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see if we can clear that. Wow, that's wedged in there good. All right, so we had a slight jam uh, at stove piped. And so I'm going to show you how to take it apart now in case that happens again. So you got a little button right here. You're going to press that in. And then you're going to take your charging handle, pull it back. That will release the whole bolt assembly. It has a weird bolt assembly at that. Um, so you got two springs. Let's see if we're going to try to get that. There you go. And uh, it's weird looking, you know? I mean, for a 1940s, 40, 1940s, 1950s uh, gun, I mean, I guess it was normal. So how it works is it's uh, recoil operated, 22, pushes back, these two springs, that cocks the hammer, comes back, pushes the new round in, it's ready to fire. And that's pretty much it. I've read in line that these things are pain to actually try to take apart, so I'm not going to. If you want to, you can go look it up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep shooting now. So, put it back in. And get it. Same way it came out. Put it in. Make sure the charging handle lines up with the slot right there. Push it in. And then you're gonna depress this button again. Push it in. Try to fire. Here we go. So cool. So interesting thing to note is that you can actually see the back of the 22 round flying towards the target since it's going at such low velocity. So you can actually see the bullet where it's gonna hit. It's pretty sweet. Let's keep shooting. Wow guys, that is just so Dang cool. We had a jam on the last round, but that's all right. I mean, this gun hasn't been shot in over 50 years, and uh, these are the first shots through it within those 50 years. So I'm really glad that's working out pretty dang well. Um, this used to be my great grandfather's gun back in the 1940s. This uh, was classified as a uh, economic rifle. Um, in back then it was about 18 bucks today's money it's gonna be about 218 um, so it was reasonably priced for the time um, for the average family to get hold of because they were in the depression you know so my great-grandfather would used to take this out um, and shoot squirrels with it uh, to put food on the table for the family um, and I guess he got a lot of squirrels this thing is accurate it's quiet um, it's just a blast to shoot. If you have a chance to pick one of these up, I really highly suggest that you do. Um, I'd probably go with the 22 LR model. Um, you're gonna have a little more velocity, um, a little more penetration, uh, and a little more uh, versatility when it comes to ammo and availability. Um, I was I was hard pressed to find the 22 short ammo. But anyways, um, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm gonna do a little bit more shooting. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I do. I, I am freaking out about this gun. I love it so much to hold a piece of history in your hand to be able to shoot it. Uh, especially since it was uh, in my family as well. 
Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, then dislike. Uh, if you want to subscribe to see more videos, you can do that as well.